The kitchen in this little brick house has come such a long ways over the last few months from demo day to new lights, drywall, paint, starting to install new cabinets and more. In today's video, we'll be making a lot of progress in the kitchen, working at getting closer to having it completely finished. and welcome back to another episode in this home renovation series here at the Little Brick House. As you can see behind me, the kitchen is starting to take shape. So in today's video, I'll be sharing all of the progress that has happened here at the Flip House and then also be sharing all of the progress that we'll be making this week as we try to work on completely finishing up this kitchen. The past week, Jalen has been working on a few little things here inside the Flip House. He's been painting, well first he pressure washed off the vents and then he painted them, reinstalled them all in the house. There was a couple of other little things that he worked on. So I will go ahead and put that footage here before I walk you through the kitchen and tell you what's been going on in there. So all of the vents in the house were in good condition. They were just really old and ugly. So Jalen just took those down, like I said, and pressure washed them, painted them, and reinstalled them. And that saved us a little bit of money by reusing those. And now he's installing a door handle on the second closet here in the main bedroom. This door that we purchased from Lowe's didn't have a hole for the handle, the latch, or anything. So we had to go ahead and make those before he could install the handle. Okay, so now we'll talk about what's happened in the kitchen the last week. So Jalen did hire a local handyman to come and help him install these cabinets, get them all level and everything. Jalen had never installed cabinets onto a wall and floors before, so he just wanted some help to be sure that they all got level. So all of the cabinets are completed and installed now. There was still a couple more cabinets to put together after our last video about the kitchen. So Jalen had also been working on getting those put together last week before the handyman came and helped him to install all of these. And they did go ahead and scoot the fridge in here when they were installing the cabinets. They installed the microwave and the vent pipe and everything for that. Really exciting to see this kitchen start to come together. We're getting so close to completely wrapping up the renovation on the interior of this house and then we can get started on wrapping up the renovation on the exterior of the house as well. So I'm gonna grab the camera and give you a closer look at the kitchen. Okay, so it's a little bit of a mess in here, but I just wanted to show you where we're at before we get started with today's video. This is what they've gotten done the last week here in the kitchen. All of these cabinets are installed. The fridge is in here, but we still have to put the handles on the fridge. This is the dishwasher, which is going on the left side of the island, and then Jalen will be building just like a frame to go around the dishwasher. Here's a quick peek at the gas range, which is going to slide right here in between these two cabinets. This is a Samsung range. I got this from, I think it was either Best Buy or Lowe's on clearance. I just can't wait to see all of this come together. I'm going to do some big wood cutting boards behind there. We're going to do a unique 
backsplash right here. This is the matching Samsung microwave, which is also a vent hood. I spent a little bit more money just to get one that is a slim design and really glad that I did that. It looks great in here, just a little bit more modern and gives you a little bit more space than a big square one would. Here in the island, there's two deep drawers and then we'll have the sink and the faucet, which thank you all so much for your suggestions in like two videos ago about the flip house. It was about the kitchen and I asked for your opinion on the faucet and I ended up going with the matte black one. I'll put the picture here on the screen. It's just a simple matte black modern faucet and then we'll have a 27 inch undermount sink. And then the dishwasher will go right here. So yeah, that's where we're at right now in the flip house. I'm going to do a quick cleanup in here before I leave and then we'll go ahead and get started with all of the progress that will happen this week here at the house. So after I cleaned up, I was just quickly measuring the cabinets and the drawers to see what sizes of handles I should order. And I just ordered those handles off of Amazon. You'll see them a little bit later here in the video. Okay, so it's the next day and Jalen is going to build these cabinets all the way up to the ceiling, just like he did in our house. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you watched the whole renovation of our home, then you will remember when he built our cabinets in our kitchen all the way up to the ceiling. Now that gap was quite a bit bigger than this this gap this was just a very small gap between the cabinets and the ceiling so he didn't have to have too much wood he used one by two boards and one by eight boards he attached a one by two board to the ceiling and then also one to the top of the cabinet that way he'd have something to attach the large one by eight board to and then once that's complete he's going to add some crown molding to the top and then just some small trim to the bottom I know that maybe not everyone may like their kitchen cabinets built all the way up to the ceiling but we really like the look of that it can just help to make a small kitchen feel taller and then you don't have to worry about cleaning above your kitchen cabinets because all of that dust and the grease and everything that gets up there it's just so much easier to have them build all the way to the ceiling Okay, so I'm back at Lowe's. We should have kept track of how many times we've been to Lowe's so far during this home renovation. It seems like we are here so often, sometimes every single week, but I'm here today to make the final decision on the countertop pick out the final choice and just go ahead and get that ordered finally. We should have done this a long time ago, but we had to wait until all of the cabinets were installed in the kitchen. That way we knew sort of exact measurements. When you order countertop at Lowe's, you just give them your estimated measurements and then they do send somebody out to get the final measurements just to be sure before they go and cut the slab and everything. We went with granite and I found a beautiful granite countertop for a good price that we'll be getting in Installed around the middle of July so you guys will get to see that countertop then and we'll also be installing the sink and the faucet at that time and then installing the backsplash mm -hmm. 
so here we were unpackaging the dishwasher and we were planning to put it on the right side of the sink but because of where they had brought that cold water pipe up through the concrete we weren't able to put it over there so we just had to swap the dishwasher and the cabinet on either side of the sink so Jalen had to run to the hardware store to get a couple of fittings for those pipes so while he's doing that I'm going to quickly fill in the nail holes above the cabinets Okay, so now this kitchen island is going to start taking shape. Jalen is building a frame with two by fours, and then he'll be adding shiplap to the front and the sides, and that shiplap will be getting painted an accent color later on in the video. It's so nice to now have a microwave here at the flip house to heat up our lunch in when we're down here working. So we're just having a quick lunch break here before we get back to work. boys really wanted to try out the shop back so I was like sure you can vacuum in here by the kitchen and then go back and pick up all the trash in the bedroom and then vacuum that so they were having a lot of fun doing that it kept them occupied and got some cleaning done usually they're playing outside under the shade of the tree with their dump trucks and everything and they've got rocks stacked out there and they've built roads and all kinds of stuff they have a lot of fun playing outside but now it started to get really hot later in the morning at about lunchtime, so they usually come inside and will play in here for the rest of the day. It's definitely a challenge to renovate a house with three kids. If both of us are here working at the flip house, then all three kids are here with us. I keep a bassinet and a sound machine in the closet in the second bedroom, that way Levi can take his naps back there, and then the boys usually are pretty good about just occupying themselves. They bring toys and they play together outside and inside. But yeah, it's definitely not always easy and can be a challenge sometimes but we've made a lot of good memories down here working as a family. And going back to it being difficult sometimes to renovate a house with kids, Levi wouldn't take a nap back in his bassinet in the closet. Sometimes he just doesn't want to take a nap down here, so I have to put him in the carrier, and usually I can get him to fall asleep in there. But this shiplap is just about finished up. He did that on the front and the sides, and then he also put corner pieces on all four corners. And I know I need to address this because somebody's going to notice the back of the dishwasher is dented in. We realized it once we unboxed it and we contacted Lowe's they're going to replace it with a new dishwasher it must have got dropped during shipping or something we're assuming um, but they are going to get that replaced but at least we had it there for building the island we could see what the size would be
Okay, so this DIY kitchen island is completed now. It just needs to be painted, so I'm just filling in all of the nail holes with wood filler. We love how this turned out. It's just a very simple accent, but just adds a little bit of something extra to the kitchen here. And then this will be painted an accent color later. So now we are going to install the stove, or so we thought we could install the stove. We started to scoot this back in here and realized that the gas pipe comes out in the middle of the wall there. And so that's not going to work. The gas pipe has to be down close to the floor because the stove has an indent at the bottom so that it can fit the gas pipe, but it doesn't have an indent up at the top. So we couldn't slide the stove all the way back against the wall. It was just something that we didn't even think about. So we had to call the gas company and they are going to shut off the gas so that we can have the line move down to the floor. But yeah, it's just those little things that you don't think about. Hopefully we can get that line moved this week and then get the stove installed in there. I will link all of these handles down below. They are matte black handles from Amazon. I put the largest ones on the drawers and then we've got a little bit smaller ones. I think it was seven inches that we did on all of the cabinets, but we were still waiting for the rest of them to come in the mail. So you won't see all of the rest of the hardware get installed until the next flip house video, which will be going live in just a couple days this Saturday. But we went ahead and got at least a couple of those handles installed on this day. I really love the look of these large oversized handles on these drawers. They're really good quality, especially for the price. While we were driving home that evening, we got our first rain of monsoon season. It was so exciting. That first rain of monsoon is always really exciting. We haven't gotten rain in a really long time. And so just the smells and it was just so amazing. We were so excited and it's been raining almost every day ever since. Good morning everyone. So I'm here at the flip house by myself today. I'm going to paint this island. I just mixed up my own paint color just because we have so many different paints that we need to use up. So I just combined them all, made my own color here and I'm going to use the paintbrush and paint this into all of the cracks on this shiplap. And then I'll go in with a foam roller and hopefully I only have to do one coat because these are primed boards but I may have to end up doing a second coat. I'm not quite sure, we'll see, but I'm really hoping this color works. I think it's going to be a great color to blend with the walls and the floors and everything. So let's get painting.
Now comes the easy part. I can just roll on all of this paint with the foam roller. Painting in all of those cracks with the brush was pretty difficult to get in all of the crevices and everything, so that did take a little while. But once I started rolling it on here, this didn't take but a few minutes, and I did end up rolling on just a quick second coat. So once I finish this, I'll show the footage of when we installed the handles on the fridge and give you a little peek inside the fridge and the freezer before we end this video. And then in a couple of days on Saturday, you will get a second flip house video so it will just be a continuation of this video we will be continuing on working here in the kitchen and the rest of the house starting to install flooring and everything so stay tuned for that video This fridge is from Hisense. It's a 17.1 cubic foot refrigerator with an ice maker. The front is a fingerprint resistant stainless steel. And considering that it is a bit of a smaller refrigerator, it is very roomy inside. And we were going to wait to take off the plastic and put on the handles, but we just decided to go ahead and do that today. So we hope that you enjoyed this episode in the Little Brick House renovation series as we're working at completely renovating this house from top to bottom. Bottom. Like I said, stay tuned. This Saturday will be basically a continuation of this video. We'll be finishing up the kitchen as much as we can, hanging up the light fixtures over the island, finishing installing handles, we'll be installing doors, and also starting to install flooring. So be sure that you don't miss that video going live this Saturday. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in a couple days with that next video. Bye!